Hello there. Welcome to my first Minecraft tutorial on how to create a binary clock in the specific game. Now, before actually jumping into building um, this thing, I want to actually explain how does a binary clock work and what a binary clock is now. Pretty simply explained, and probably all of you know what a binary clock is, it's a clock that displays the time of the day in a binary format. I mean, pretty obvious, right? Oops. Um, but there's things that you have to understand when you're looking at such things. So you know it's a binary, so it has two states, on or off. Well, that pretty much pictures it. That means that it cannot do anything analogly. So it cannot show numbers. I mean, it can do anything actually even digitally. It can show any kind of numbers or anything. It can only do on or off states, and then you have to decipher it. It's also good for storing um, data, if you ask me. I mean, in Minecraft, it can be really useful for storing data. For example, uh, since something will get turned on uh, at a different time, you can actually use that to power something else you need, and that can, you know, then be used to do some kind of task that needs specific time. And time is a sort of a data, so it's quite useful in Minecraft and in real life too, of course. So, I would actually jump right into explaining and actually just building the uh, model of this thing. So, the red thing is wire, let's say. Okay. For example, it's wire. So, the gray thing is the quartz crystal. And the quartz crystal is the most important thing in the binary clock itself. You see, a bin uh, <laughs> sorry. you see a quartz crystal oscillates at a specific frequency that can be used to actually then be calculated and then given an, an output of one second or whatever you want. But it's usually one second because that's the whole you point of it. For example, most used uh, binary, I mean quartz crystals are of, I'm gonna write the value on screen because I don't know how to pronounce it, 2 to the power of 15, right? Uh, and that is around 32,000 kilohertz, okay? Why is that a value used? Well, we'll come to that later when we reach the yellow thing, which is right about now. But why does a quartz crystal oscillates when you run electricity through it. Well, that's a simple question that can have that can have an easier answer or a more complicated one. Now, the easier answer that I'm just this is the only answer I'm going to give to you is that because a quartz crystal is in fact piezoelectric, and that means that when you run electricity through it, it changes its um, looks, I don't know how to say that, it changes its volume, it changes its, it changes itself physically, but it also does the same thing when you hit it, for example, when you change it physically, do some kind of physical damage, so to say, to it, it also creates electricity, but that's a sorry part of the day. So let's go to this, now what yellow concrete is, it is actually a binary step counter, or just a binary counter. But, you know, it's a more fancy name in electronics, and it's a real-time clock. Now, if I'm not wrong, for this specific, uh, what we said to the power of 15, um, real-time clock is used, and it's called RTC, or real-time clock, 1307, but I'm not sure. I could be extremely wrong. So there's obviously other types of these binary uh, step counters, or the binary counters, or the real-time clocks. And that is uh, because everyone, if, of course, if you're going to use, uh, for example, a 15,000 kilohertz crystal, uh, then you need, a, you know, a corresponding RTC. So for the, this one that we said, 32,000 and something, this one has to have a specific count of stages. And those stages equals to 15 because that's, you know, the power of 2, you know. I mean, it's not the power. I don't know how 
Does it work in English? <laughs> but yeah, I'll write it all down. And then this is the clock itself, which is displays time, and it's nothing special. So I think I explained pretty much everything here. So before going to building one thing, this thing, whatever, <laughs> I'll jump into the text editor. Now why am I here? Well, here I am to do math. Math with Minecraft. So, why is that so? Well, because we need a specific quartz crystal, right? And in Minecraft, we don't have quartz crystals except for those white things, but, you know, they can be used in redstone. So, what can we do with this? Well, we can use the redstone repeaters. And then set them to be a specific um, oscillation. And then run a binary counter, run them through binary counter, and then out to the, you know, the last counter, actually the clock. So here's the math. So if one tick equals, actually one second equals 20 ticks, then, you know, one tick equals this much seconds. And we know that for the smallest possible, uh, with the least errors, what did I just say? So, with the smallest possible amounts of rest and repeaters that we can make is two. But that gives us a lot of room for error, because if you set one to just two ticks, the whole thing will be ruined, because then it will be this much of a delay, and it will give it enough time to power up the second one, okay? And then the second one is just going to power this one, and it's going to create an endless loop, similar to just attaching a lever to a wrist line, and powering it. So we used so I used four because that's the you know that's the best amount you can use. You can also use three, you can use ten if you really want to, but it's unnecessary. So this is just text, read it if you want to, but it's just what I said right now. So we need 0 0.5 seconds because if we're gonna use an RTC and I want to use an RTC or the binary counter just to show how a real binary clock works. So, for this, we need four repeaters, so we have four repeaters, and we do the math here. So, each repeater has different states, and we know that it's 0, 1, 2, and 3, similar to an array. 0 is 1 tick, 1 is 2 ticks, three is, I mean, 2 is 3 ticks, and 3 is 4 ticks. And this all corresponds to a specific time delay. Now, the best setup I have is this, because if I set one of these to 3, it will be, you know, bad. So we don't want to do that here. So now this is one, one, two, and two. This is ticks. So it's it's this actually, this fat, not the ticks. So it's not one tick, but it's actually two ticks here, and so on. So that means this is 0 0.1 second, 0 0.1 second, and two of 0 0.15, which gives us a total of 0 0.5 seconds, and we need that. So I think. <laughs> I think I talked enough. I think we can go back to Minecraft and start building this thing. I'll just quickly delete all these and press this button. This is machine I mean. Yeah, it's pretty cool as well. So the first thing we want to create oops, is actually the quartz crystal. Now, a simple way to create a quartz crystal is just doing this. It's just basically a timer in Minecraft. So we do this, 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 do, do, do. So this has to be 1, 1, 2, 2, and 2, 2. Okay. Now when we output, we can set this even to 4. It doesn't matter. Only this matters. What, what will this change is actually the time where the data from this comes to there. So it doesn't change the time. So we won't do any errors. So you can put it on as much as these if you, as you, if you, have, as you want. Okay. Just to declare things. Okay, then we need to make the binary counter. And how I actually realized, how I actually stumbled upon these um, binary clock thingies is by actually just stacking up a whole lot of these more stable circuits and just powering them. And I noticed the pattern, and the pattern was that it gives me like a counter. And I realized, holy, holy crap, this is, this is a binary 
counter and I can do and I can use that to make a binary clock. So the idea did not come from one of the YouTubers, but it did prove it did come in handy because that YouTuber, if it wasn't for them, I would be like, okay, nobody made this, and I would be like, oh, that's so cool, I made this famous thing. Yeah, I'll make a video out of it, which I did right now, which I'm doing right now. But what they made me to do is actually be like, oh, you know what, I'm gonna be kind and introduce them into the video and send eight of my subscribers to them. <laughs> so, yeah, they didn't give me a DIA, but, you know, they were helpful. They have a big video, really thermal on this thing, and I suggest for you to check it out if you really want to get into these complex things and if you're interested in building a microcomputer. So, too much talking. Okay, so what I did now, here, I did this thing. Why only one, one step? And, you know, you say that kind of like in a weird way because uh, this is actually 0 0.5, that means it will oscillate two times. In a second, and that equals to, I will again write it on the screen, 2 to the power of 1. I'm not sure if that's how it works in English. Sorry. Uh, which corresponds to only one of these cells. Yeah, let's call them cells. Okay, then we can go on and build this. I'll just quickly turn it. No, I won't turn this on because those will create a lot of uh, sound noise actually. And then I'll just tidy this up a little bit. Yeah, that looks nice. Did I do this? Sorry, just checking in to make it nice. Now, what we have to do is create the actual display. Now we'll be doing four of these display things, cell things, and I'm putting. Oh god! Oh god! It's hard. Well, that was disgusting. I don't know why. And I'm putting four of these because I want to just get to the point of eight, which is far enough for a binary clock. I think, right? Yeah. Yeah, it is. No, we actually have to go to 16. Let's go to 16 then. Wait, math. Wait, 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 wait. One? Wait, wait, this is one, right? Yeah, this is one, two, four, eight. Yeah, this is then 16. Yeah, we need 16. Sorry for that. I was just confused by myself. Okay, why am I putting these slime blocks? It's for uh, a little bit of display later on. So, yes, oh, wait, I need this here. Do I need that? Yeah, I need that. Ich needs. Then we'll just simply put this here. If I can just no, I don't like this. Okay, I'll cut it now because I won't be doing anything useful, and I'll be back when I create the visual. Okay, I did the thing. I did the visuals, and what I basically did is make an, an expandable little tray here, so you can connect more of these cells if you want to go like really accurate or like for real long for example I don't know I think this will suffice for a couple of years yeah I think I'm not sure though uh, or something else and I did these LEDs now they're all on and this is all lifted and that is their off state action I know it's confusing but it's because I really can't make an inverter in Minecraft I think yeah, must do that. I mean, I could if I just, you know, make an LED go on through here and things like that. It will, they will still be on. Yeah, I know. It's just how it is. Okay, so I think it's time for us to power this. Okay, here we go. Good. This gives some outputs. Every half seconds. Wait, let me just. Sorry for that. Let me just do. Reduce the sound of this so that the pistons don't bother you every half a second. So, right now, this is a second, second, two seconds, four seconds, eight seconds, sixteen seconds, so on. Quite cool, right? Now, you will need for every single thing you're gonna make, for example, if you want to make minutes, you need another one of these. Uh, or just a different step counter. You want, for example, I don't know, hours? Yeah. You want years? 
you will need a huge step counter and a huge quartz crystal. And a huge this. Actually, not so huge, like, I think. Still here? Yeah, something like this. Yeah, no, it's false. It's not something like that, trust me. But, yeah. So, let's explain how this works. Let me just stop it at a certain point. That's not how... Actually, yeah, that's how you stop it. Okay, let's just wait till we get something colorful. There we go. Okay, good. So, right now, what it tells me is that it's been running for... Well, of course, you know. It wasn't running for this much. It was running for three times more. But we need to introduce one or more of these so we can catch the cycles of these. And then one more to catch the cycles of all of these and so on. So, we only know what happened up to 60 seconds, right? Yeah, yeah, wait, let me do quick maths. One, two, that's three. This is seven. Wait, yeah, this is seven. This is 15. This is 31. Okay, so we get to only 31 seconds. So we need one more, one more of these. God damn it, I know I was wrong. To make it a um, minutes. Yes. And let's read this. What does it say? It says one, two, and eight. That means it's been running for 13 seconds, right? Right, right, right. No, 11 seconds. God damn it. So, that's my tutorial on how to make a binary counter slash clock. I hope you liked it. And if you want me to. If, <laughs> if you want to see me expanding this thing into actually something you can read. Something like an usual binary clock thing. And they usually portray it like this, I think. Yeah, two of these. No, actually, it's for the. Wait, what? This is seconds. Yeah, this is seconds, right? You want to make these seconds. Now you want to make. God dang it. These are hours. Okay, so that's how it looks. Thank you for watching and subscribe if you want to see more. Also, if you subscribe and write down in the comments below how much you love this video, and if you suggest me to make another one of these, but you know, as I said, expand, then please do because if you do that, I'll be a lot more prepared for the next video and I'll be doing a lot more scientific research. So, yeah, thank you for watching once again, and please check out uh, the other channel that I'll link in the description below. For the girl slash dude slash person who gave me the idea for this. Kind of. An idea to make a video for this. Yes, good. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video if there is any. Goodbye.